cheers to going back to Disney for the holiday season. We have made it to Pop Century. We're gonna be doing the Christmas tree stroll all throughout all of Disney Springs. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna. This I am Corey. Is, this is Corey, and if you're new, make sure you subscribe because we're on our way to Disney. It is a whopping 6 a.m. on the dot. Corey and I are leaving for Walt Disney World this morning. We are so, so excited. This morning we got coffee at Starbucks. This is why the Boston Logan Airport is a million times better than our old airport where because we used to be. Because they have Starbucks. Because they have Starbucks. I got the Grande Ice Sugar cookie latte. Corey always gets a nitro cold brew. Make sure if you have not already to tune into all the festivities this week. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe, and comment your favorite thing about traveling when you travel back to Disney. We are going to Paddlefish for dinner tonight, which I am really excited about, and we're probably just going to spend the day at the pool, relax. It is really, really early, so our flight leaves at about 7.05 a.m., so we have about 30 minutes until boarding, and then on top of that we get in around 10 30 so i will check in with all of you once we make it to disney so cheers to going back to disney for the holiday season and we'll see you when we get to walt disney world safe travels made it to pop century it is absolutely adorable and i do have to it is really cute i do have to say cast members really know exactly what they're doing because i asked if there was any way that we could be really close to the skyliner because we plan to use that for a majority of our transportation and this is our room right here which we'll give you a room tour of but look at where the skyliner is right behind us so you can see through all these trees the skyliner and here's the skyliner station right here and we can walk down these stairs every day and walk right over to the skyliner station we are gonna go in and do a quick room tour right now Corey if you want to do the honors you go ahead and tap that magic band right okay there it is all right here is our humble abode. We are so excited. So like I mentioned, we are staying at the Pop Century. So here is a quick room tour. This is actually a bed. So if you have a family of four that's staying here, you can pull this bed down and move the chairs into the corner and it will turn into a bed. Corey and I will keep this as a table just because it's easy for us. And then you turn from the door. You have a nice area with a fridge, coffee pot, and all of the necessities. But then we have Mr. Corey over here getting a few things situated we have our resort TV this really nice dresser so three little drawers and then a little opening there perfect bed Corey and I both have a side table we actually didn't have this in Coronado Springs because that bed was technically that room was made for four and Corey was the only one that had a nightstand I didn't so this actually even for anybody that's really considering staying at pop century you get a nightstand a middle nightstand and one over there we have the bathroom Hi everybody. So we have one sink here, some little hand towels ready to go, a vanity mirror. There's also some storage up at the top here, which is nice. Nice ironing board, little area for closets so that Corey and I can hang the few things that we did bring. And then if you turn around standing where the ironing board is, you have the shower in the bathroom. So it's really great because Corey looks forward to using the H2O products every time we come to Disney, so he's excited to use those again. But again, we have a nice glass shower, which is great, and a little toilet. And that is a one bed for four people at the Pop Century Resort. That is the start of our Pop Century Disney holiday vacation. So we're super excited. We are literally right outside from staring right out my window right now. Corey and I can see all of the little Skyliner sky gondolas driving, or I guess hanging, gliding by. We can see the Whatever liners gliding your heart by. Desires. Yeah, we can see the liners gliding by. We are going to head on out. We're gonna go grab some lunch. Maybe we'll just walk around the resort and then we'll start getting ready for dinner. That's gonna be the start of our Disney vacation. So like I said, Corey and I are gonna quickly go grab some lunch, but I'm also gonna show you a little bit around Pop Century. So let's see what we can find on our way to lunch. We 
are at Everything Pop right now and it is really, really cute in here. I've heard a few like, you know, iffy things about the food. So I just ordered lunch and they are preparing my order right now, which is great. I ended up getting the chicken tenders and fries and Corey ended up getting a bacon cheeseburger and fries. And then I got us a little 50th anniversary macaron to celebrate coming to Disney because why not? Coming to Disney is a celebration. She's got the goods. I got the goods. Yeah, yeah. So this is the little 50th celebration macaron. Mine, which is your standard good old classic chicken tenders and fries. And then Corey got the bacon cheeseburger, which is wrapped up in tin foil, but I bet you under the tin foil it's good. So we are gonna eat some lunch, head back to the room in a little while, and get ready for Disney Springs. So we finished up lunch and got our Cha-Ching resort mugs. We got the same ones except for mine is a blue top and yellow Corey's crew. is the yellow crew. We are actually going to head on the Skyliner for a little bit. We just walked over and we are gonna hop on the Skyliner, go to Epcot just to see how long it will take us to get from our resort to Epcot and just to enjoy the Skyliner before we head on out to Disney Springs tonight. So. I will check in with all of you once we are done with the Skyliner and once we get ready for dinner, but enjoy some beautiful clips of Corey and I riding the Skyliner. Corey and I were on the Skyliner. We ended up taking the Skyliner from Pop Century to one of their main hubs, from one of their hubs over to Epcot. And now we are just walking around. We stumbled upon the boardwalk and the Swan Hotel. So now we are just enjoying our resort Powerades, fueling up for our long week ahead and just enjoying all of the beautiful weather and beautiful views that we can. So check in, Corey and I did a nice, really relaxing walk around the boardwalk and the yacht club and the beach club on the Skyliner. We came back and we got ready for dinner, which we're actually going to paddlefish in Disney Springs, which I'm excited about. My glasses are from Amazon. My top necklace is from Joe & Co Goods. This necklace is from Bobble Bar. This is from Amazon. My bag is from Burberry. My tank top is H&M. My bracelets are J. Crew. My jeans are Abercrombie and & Fitch. And my sneakers are the Adidas Stan Smiths. We are headed out to Disney Springs for the night and we will check in with you when we get to Paddlefish. So we have made it to Paddlefish and we just got our appetizer, which is the crab topped fry. Let me show you. They're fries topped with blue crab, chive, or scallion, whatever that onion is. And then, what? would you know what that red sauce was? It looks like a aioli of some sort. I yeah. don't remember what the exact. All right, we'll is. dive in and take a bite so we can see what it tastes like. Yeah. These are good. I would probably say maybe a seven. Mm -hmm. They're good. Not revolutionary, but they are really good. So. We're gonna eat our crab fries. I got for dinner the shrimp linguine and Corey got the salmon with wasabi, mashed potatoes, and assorted, I think, veggies. Food has arrived. Corey, what did you get? I got the salmon, which comes with a side of wasabi mashed potatoes and an assortment of veggies and a vinaigrette sauce on top of the stuff. All right, let's give it a try. So I got the shrimp linguine that comes with shrimp, tomatoes, asparagus, and crab broth, I think it was. So we are, wrong figures, gonna give this a go. We already did. <laughs> Corey and I just left Paddlefish, and in full, honest transparency, I would give it max a six, and that's being generous. I was selfishly comparing it to Boathouse. The Boathouse is 100 times better, and the food at Paddlefish is just your standard seafood. I mean, what did you think? I mean, it was cooked fine, but like, was yeah. it over the top insanity? Like, no. 
no. I would 100% recommend the boathouse over paddlefish 110% without a doubt. And I will say that Corey and I are now on our way to World of Disney and then we're gonna be doing the Christmas tree stroll all throughout all of Disney Springs, which we will take you along on as well. Now Corey and I are gonna head into World of Disney. Let's see what goodies we can find. World of Disney was absolutely packed. Insanity. Like it was insanity. So we really just got a few things. Now we are headed over to Basin. I believe the cast member inside said we are getting the Christmas tree tree stroll map. Ah, so lovely. basically what we're gonna get is a map and I think there's 20 different trees all throughout Disney Springs and we have to stick stickers and find every single tree. So we will bring you along on the and Christmas tree stroll. we're gonna show you every one of them. Yeah, well, maybe not every single one. We got our Christmas tree stroll map and basically what we have to do is go through 20 holiday trees and stick the sticker that is the correct tree on each one. morning this morning so we actually not gave up but we decided that we were gonna split the Christmas tree stroll in half so we did half tonight and then on Thursday when we come back for our brunch reservation we are gonna do the second half so we are leaving Disney Springs for the day we do have a ton of goodies in that bag we're going over to our pop century resort like key space here at Disney Springs we are basically calling it a night because we are tired yep. it's about 8 30 and we are just getting started on our vacation and we don't want to be too tired for the remainder of it because we have some really long nights ahead tomorrow we have our very merry after hours so that it goes until 1 30 or 2 o'clock in the morning so make sure if you're not subscribed you do so because i'll be vlogging the whole thing but we'll check back in with you when we make it back to pop century so like i mentioned we're back from disney springs so corey and i are gonna do our three favorites and then we're gonna call a night what were your three favorites of the day three favorites taking the skyliner that was fun. Yep, that was fun. Walking through the uh, club resort, that was nice. That was so beautiful. That was so Yeah. Cool. I would say at least the first stage of our Christmas tree hunt. Yeah. Since we didn't in do the In Disney Springs, stage. that was fun. Yeah. yeah. What was your three? My three favorites in an order, being like my top favorite to my like third favorite, Definitely the Skyliner number one. We've mm -hmm. never rode the Skyliner before and riding the Skyliner was such a blast. I would say my second highlight of the day is when our cast member that checked us in today mm. put us right on top of the Skyliner and when we look out our window we can see the Skyliner going by and we are the first hotel room that is the closest to the Skyliner mm -hmm. so that was just such a huge bonus and a huge plus. My third was even though it was hectic, I would say walking around Disney Springs mm -hmm. was just a really fun time. There's the holidays, so I would say Disney Springs. I am going to end day one of traveling to Florida here. Please make sure that if you have not already that you subscribe down below. So thanks so much for being here and I will see you in my next vlog. Good night, bye. bye.